What the fuck? I killed them. Why'd they take it? Don't take revive. Don't take revive. Don't take revive. Don't take revive. You bitch. Don't take revive. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Right. All right. That was a minor downset, but at least they didn't take revive. I don't care if they took drug. I mean, I got plenty of points. It lasts forever, but revive. I need that. Okay. Maybe I will spring up for some claymores. They might serve as a little bit of a uh, a warning. They might they might turn out helpful. I don't know, but yeah, like I've said before, it's it's kind of a not a useful tactic any, at this point anymore. Shoot you! Shoot you! Shoot you! Ah! All right, careful. So I'm on my second revive currently. So this is still good. Did it once. Yeah, yeah bot twice. So we're good, we're good, we're good. We got this. Train around here. Uh, this guy's jumping in there. Uh, try not to get trapped here. <laughs> All right. What is that? A uh, carpenter? Sure. Oh, God, that guy just did a barrel roll. Mm, why are you still hitting me? Okay. Ooh. This is pretty interesting. I'm never usually doing uh, solo live commentaries. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I decided to try this video out because I, you know, I'm not really known for solo commentaries. I'm usually playing uh, four-man co-opted gameplay matches on Road at War, Custom Zombies, by the way. So that that's another different thing. This is a completely different game. I still got that whole Kino of the Totem thing going on, which reminds me, I should probably upload the rest of those videos. I'm sorry about that. Just like I don't really have time most of the time. Uh, the weekdays I don't really have time to render out the videos because they I don't, I don't know it's probably my computer my GPU or whatever but rendering a nine minute video for some reason takes about 40 minutes in Sony Vegas I I, I don't know my why it's probably because of the presets I have in 1920 by 1080 resolution I might have to downscale to 1440 by 900 or I don't know I don't think I'm ready for that though <laughs> Well, I shouldn't complain. I'm playing at uh, I'm playing at 1280 by 720 right now, <laughs> so yeah, graphics shouldn't really be a problem for me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah, what day is it today? Uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, the 24th. Yeah, it was the 24th. So. As I speak, it is the 24th. By the time you may be watching this video, it's probably going to be the 26th, maybe. But, you know, right now, as I speak, tomorrow, uh, they are going to... Well, they... I mean, Next Gen Tactics is going to release a custom zombies map. Oh, shit. Why did I stop moving? A custom zombies map featuring exo zombies from Advanced Warfare. I am... I am so hyped for it. It's... It's... it's I'm getting... Uh, like, fanboy of PC coming in. No, like, let me explain. So, it's the 24th, you know, as I speak. Uh, Xbox Live is going to get Exo Zombies on um, Advanced Warfare. And, oh, I'm trying to avoid that. In two days. You know, 27th. Well, three days. And we're going to be getting a custom Zombies map on Road at War with the same Zombies tomorrow. Two days before Xbox Live. And for free. For free, the the that it's I it's I it's 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 so great, it's it's so great. We're, we're getting Exo Zombies for free. We're we're not we're not paying fifty bucks for a DLC for just for a new game mode or fifty bucks for a, a season pass. We're getting it for free, and even if you don't have the game, you can buy it for like fifteen bucks on Steam. It's it's so great. Exo Zombies before Xbox. You know, finally PC gets something before X fucking bone. It, it's it's so ama amazing. Uh, PC mustard race. And it's on Road at War. That's a, what is it, 2015? It's, it's a seven-year-old game. Y you have to admit, that's pretty impressive. The modding community has gotten so big and so great. I mean, over the years, you know, back then we just had a um, bare bones map. If you don't know what that is, it's basically maps like Nocturne and Toten where... You know, there's no perks, there's no pack a punch, and you know you you die. That's it. GG. It's over. 
So, you know, back then, custom zombies were just that, you know, bare bones map with no perks, no pack a punch. They were just simple stuff. Um, for example, you may have heard some of these maps. Uh, Subway, uh, that was a bare bones. Um, skate Park, I think. Uh, no, Skate Park wasn't a bare bones, but it was a pretty old map. Uh, th there's many other bare bones map out there. Out there. And, you know, we've evolved from that. You know, after the maps with perks came out, you know, our custom zombies started to get perks, started to get more creative. And, you know, it, it, it died down. It died out a little bit after a while. I mean, there wasn't anything new going on with Black Ops 1 at all. And then around 2012 or 13, I believe, is when the modding community for Road at War got huge. And recently, we, you know, when we found out that you know we could actually start porting guns from oh shit from uh, from other games, it, the community just exploded. I mean, all these maps come just came out with um, Black Ops One weapons and perks, you know, except PhD because that doesn't work for Dick. And it's it was it, it just got so much better. You know, we evolved to um, having guns from different games. We evolved to having guns from Battlefield Three and even Halo. I mean, there's a map that we play a lot. Um, that has the Halo 3 assault rifle. At least that's what it's called. Um, it's it's I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a gray gun with a oh with a blue iron sights. So just, just call it the Halo gun. The, <laughs> the Halo gun. And you know we evolved from that. And then recently another map called Project Viking came out, and we actually had Afterlife mode for Mob of the Dead on World at War. And after that I was like, whoa. Damn, this this can't get any better. Like, wow, this we we've really just we've gotten so great now. And you know, after that we started getting some maps that had pretty cool features. You know, custom. Oh shit, that's gonna kill you. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come here. Don't die. Don't fuck. Oh, you're not the last zombie. No, all right, whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start activating the ladders. I'm gonna start. Um, Opening up the pack punch machine. I might as well. I mean, I'm already starting to buy the perks and drifting away from my original challenge. But yeah, I might as well. It's getting pretty hard. I got a max ammo this round, and I just wasted all the bullets on the zombies. Fuck. <clears throat> but I was saying, we started getting maps with a lot more creativity. Um, being able to do the cool things. They started getting saying, um, for example, Purple Dimension. Um, that that's one of my favorite maps of all time. Custom Zombies. It's um, it's it's so trippy, you know. But that's more of a. Uh, oh, I'm gonna open this one instead since it's closer. That's more of a uh, just a scenery type deal of evolving. And now we have Exo Zombies on Road at War. It's. It, I, like I said before, it's so amazing. We evolved from having no perks at all in custom zombies to having, you know, being able to play in skate parks and baseball fields and um, even Walmart. I'm pretty sure there's a Walmart custom zombies out there. If there isn't, you know, someone needs to get on that. I need to see that. Um, yeah, we evolved from that. Now we have Exo Zombies. And, you know, that's just the beginning. I mean... So yeah, it's coming out tomorrow, and we what the fuck? <laughs> he just tripped. <laughs> I've never seen I've never seen a zombie trip at all in, in Call of Duty history. 